Hi, uh, this is Linda uh, from the UK and are you ready for another lesson on literature? I hope you're all well. Um, let's start. Okay, I'm going to share my screen now. Can you see this? Uh, can you see my PowerPoint? Okay, so today we're going to look at a short story. We're going to read a whole story and do some other things with it. Okay, so first, can you remember the poems in the first week or the story we looked at last week? What, what do you remember from them? Did you watch the videos again? Did you learn anything about literature from them? About, did you learn any vocabulary? Did you learn about the reading skill? Five minutes in pairs, pause the video please, and talk to your partner. Okay. I hope you remember some of the things. I hope some people are watching the videos again after the session. You can get the link through the WhatsApp group and watch the video as many times as you need to. Um, and if you have questions, please put the questions in the WhatsApp group and I'll answer them later. Okay. Ready for this week's lesson? Right, it is this time, it's a short story. A whole short story. Okay, any ideas where this story takes place? Do you know Lake, Lake Retba? Um, I've been there, I'm very lucky to have been there. It's in Senegal and it's the, the Pink Lake, also called the Pink Lake. Um, you can see from the picture, the Pink Lake there. Do you think it's gonna be a uh, happy story or a sad story? Look at the title and look at the picture. What do you think? Okay, I want you to talk to your partner about what you imagine the story might be. Look at the title, look at the picture, pause the video, five minutes to discuss the story, okay? Okay, so probably from the title, probably it's not very happy because it's about a murder. Probably from the picture, it's not very happy because that could be the murdered person's hand, couldn't it? Okay, so um, this is in literature, we often read about adult topics, don't we? Sometimes things are shocking. Sometimes things are sad. Sometimes things are worrying. Um, but I think it's a very good idea to, to read about everything in life, even these adult um, difficult topics, and then talk about them. And then this prepares us well for, for life, I suppose. So um, in this story, yes, there is death and there is sex. So this is adult um, stories. But I think it's a very interesting story because it's quite complex, most short stories are, and you might need to read it more than once, okay? I wonder if you guessed what the story will be about. We'll see in a minute. Okay, first we have some vocabulary from the text. Right, I'm going to give you some time to look up the meaning of the words that you don't know. Can you get um, some dictionaries? from the um, bookshelf or on your phone. Maybe you can pause the screen to go and find some dictionaries. I want you to discuss in pairs the meaning of these words and then try to invent a story that uses all these words. These are stories, these are vocabulary from the story we're going to read. Okay, so pause the video discuss the meaning and the story from these words. No.
Okay. Did you agree on the meanings of the words? It's really good before you do readings with um, students that they understand the key words, the main words that might stop them understanding the whole story. Okay, are you ready to go on now? Right, we're going to read the story twice. The first time, very quickly, I'm going to control the screen and you're just going to skim through quickly to see if your imagined story, what you predicted, was more or less right or wrong. After that, you're going to read the story more slowly, pausing the video. Then you can understand more about the whole story and the characters. Okay, so first time, don't pause. There are six, sorry, seven slides of the story. No, six, seven, I don't know slides of the story and uh, I want you just to look really quickly just about 20 seconds each slide see if you can skim through without reading every word are you ready first slide Okay, next one. Not two, second slide. Okay, next part three. Okay, next, part four. Okay, part five. Next, part six, and that's the last part. Okay, okay, that's a lot to read quickly, I know, but was it what you predicted? Was it what you thought the story would be? If it's a murder, did you find out who murdered who? Who was the murdered character? Who was the murderer? Okay, I'm going to give you some time to read more slowly now. You can pause each slide for two, three, four minutes, however long you need. And I want you, as you're reading, to think about these four questions. Maybe you know number one now. Where does the story take place? Yes, in Senegal at the um, Lake Retba, the Lac Ros, the Pink Lake near Dakar. But now I want you to read to find out who are the characters, what is the action, what happens, and do you like the story? Why or why not? Okay, if you want to take a picture of this slide, or if you want to make a few notes now, you can pause to note down the questions. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the story now. Okay, so this is the title. You looked at the words. 
we read very quickly first to see if your predictions were right or wrong. Now we're going to read more slowly. Part one, pause the video and read it for three or four minutes. Okay, now part two, pause the video. Okay, now part three, pause again. And part four, pause now. And next one, part five, pause. And part six, pause now. Okay. Okay, did you find out who was the murderer? What do you think? Okay, so now you can discuss those questions with your partner and you can pause to discuss them. Okay. I wonder if you do like it and if you know why you like it or why you don't like it. How much did you understand? It's really useful to talk about what you read so that you can get somebody else's opinion and other people can help you understand things. It's quite complex. You might want to read it again. Okay, your homework is to write a summary of the short story in less than 50 words. If you want to, you can do that now. You can pause the video, stop the video, and work with a partner to write the summary. That's the end of this lesson. And I just want to show you that this lesson is also, I can't find it now. This lesson also comes from the New Internationalist website so you can see that did you read any from the new internationalist website last week for your homework okay let me share the screen now can't find it, sorry. Um, if you look up on the um, New Internationalist website, if you look up the story, the name of that story, you can find the easier English version and then click and find the more difficult version. It's a really, really good way of developing your reading to read the easier English version and then the difficult version afterwards and you'll develop your vocabulary and reading as if by magic. So you can do it on your phone um, and you can read that later. That's enough for today. Have a good week.